Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get both analog sticks working on your PSP games on the Adrenaline emulator. So what you guys want to do first is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Once it finally loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so the link will be in the description and basically it's by the official flow and it's called Remastered Controls. So there are quite a few games, um, well there's actually seven in total, um, PSP games that actually support this plugin. So we've got Grand Theft Auto, um, Resistance Retribution, Splinter Cell, there's some other pretty good games on here, but the game I'm going to be using is Kingdom Hearts. So if you find the game that you want on here, you have to see which version it's compatible with. As you can see, Kingdom Hearts is compatible with the original um, Birth by Sleep and then the um, Birth by Sleep Final Max. So I've just got this one, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So what you want to do is download the plugin for the game you want. So I'm just going to open that in a new tab and then download it. It's a PRX file, so it's only like 3.13 KB. So once that has finished downloading, you want to go back onto the guide because you want to copy this plugin to your UXO PSP MU SE plugins file. So make sure your PS Vita is connected. Just go to your downloads folder, find the plugin, which is right here. And you just want to do right click and copy. Go onto your PS Vita. Now make sure you're on the view tab and make sure hidden files are enabled so you can see everything on your UXO. Go to the PSP MU, go into SE plugins and then paste the file in here. There is another thing we need to do and that is copy the line of text to make this file work. So go back onto the website and you need to put the line of text in the game.txt. So you want to copy this line of text, it will be under each game that you choose. Go back, go into game.txt and you can just put it wherever you want. So I'm actually just going to put this at the start and then I'm just going to do file and save. Now we can completely close out of that. Also, I'm just going to copy across my game. Here's my Kingdom Hearts ISO. I'm just going to copy it into the PSP MU file into the ISO folder. So I'm just going to wait for this to copy across and then when it's done, I'll show you guys how the controls are a lot better. Right guys, so on your PS Vita, you can now close out Vita Shell because you no longer need it and you just want to start your Adrenaline emulator. So what you guys want to do on the home screen is just press select, scroll down and go to the recovery menu, just press X to open it. Then guys on this menu what you want to do is go down to plugins, press X on it and you're looking for the remastered plugin. Now it should be enabled um, automatically but if it isn't all you do is just press X on it to enable it. Now once you've done that just go up to back then scroll down and just press X on Exit. Now it's time to test out the game and see if both of these analog sticks are working because as you guys are aware, um, the analog sticks normally both don't work on the PSP games. So let's go ahead and do the Kingdom Hearts game. Let's just launch it up right now. Right guys, so now it's time to test it out since we are on the game. So as you can see, this um, stick right here would normally work because this is the stick that would um, match the PSP's um, you know, layout of buttons. So this one would normally work and you'd normally just you know, run around like this. But now we have this analog stick working which actually turns the screen. So this is actually really cool and this is just going to make games, you know, playing games just so much easier. You can turn the screen to whatever you want to now. Um, super easily using the other analog stick. So I really like this feature. It definitely improves the games a lot. It definitely makes me actually want to play them to be honest. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it for this video. Very simple plugin but very cool. This works exactly the same with all the other games like GTA, Splinter Cell, um, all the seven games that are on the list. More games are supposed to be getting added soon. Um, you know, there's only actually been a few games on there. But pretty much all the popular ones are on there, you know, the games that you'd actually want to play. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.